Hello, this is Barbie with Artifaces with another crummy video. I'm sorry about the video quality. This one is um, going to be a spiderweb eye tribal style. And um, we're doing it for a church. I wanted to do a tribal design like a Mike Tyson tattoo, but um, they nixed the idea for the church. So I still want something with that flavor because we're painting fifth and sixth grade boys. So we're going to do a tribal spider web and the first thing you're going to do is put down your color and um, blue works really well for this orange works great green works good but don't forget that um, sometimes the green is harder to take off the face and I always kind of try to keep that in mind um, but what you want to do is just put down your layer and uh, you want to do it very jaggedy it looks much more um, manly and uh, if your boy is a little bit older like a preteen or a teen they're going to appreciate that um, so uh, you can take five seconds to put down that base. It's very quick. We're going to make a spider next to the eye. If you have trouble with the spiders, um, Google for um, spider face painting and see if you can find some tutorials because um, the key is to have a very light touch with your brush, to drink a lot of coffee and be extra shaky. That gives it a nice kind of spooky realistic quality. I'm sorry about the vacuuming in the background. Um, we're going to make a spider right next to the eye, about oh, almost an inch over. It depends how much space you have on the face. Make just a small dot. Make a bigger dot for, um, for the body of the spider. Make it however you want to. Now for the legs, this gets more tricky. What I do is I uh, pull out a very thin line. You have to have pretty good brush control for this. And then I lay it down a little bit, give it some pressure, and then I pull back up, and then I push back down to get more pressure almost like there's two sets of knuckles and each time there's a knuckle I change direction so something like this so you want to be a little shaky and um, you don't it doesn't have to be perfect see right here I made this too thick at the end no big deal the um, most of your legs actually come out from the center of the ball out here you're not actually creating legs down here so this third leg is actually the most important it's the biggest leg on the spider it comes almost straight out which is kind of unusual See how I'm just kind of pulling and uh, very jittery. And see how nice that looks? I'm not very good at spiders at all. Some people um, will learn them doing teardrops like this and then another joint and then, um, and that's actually better. Um, so go ahead and learn that technique and it should come really quick to you. We're going to make the spider webs now. There's three of them. We're going to lay down the middle one. I want you to start approximately, oh, I'm going to say an inch or, no, about two inches above the center point of the eyes and then over just a little bit. We're going to start with a thin line. This is like tribals. So thin, lay down your brush and come back and pull. Now this can go as fast as this. So um, you can be a lot faster. The, the top one, you're going to actually go up an inch. If you have the space between here and the start of the hairline, um, go up an inch, pull back a little bit. Our middle one is going to be the longest. Lay down your brush, come thicker, pull thinner. Sorry, I think I'm losing you here. Um, again, your third one is going to match right up here. So it's going to be right here, an inch apart from this one. And it's going to be, um, we're going to let our middle one kind of come out more. It's just more pleasing. And we're going to do the same thing. But notice that we don't have an inch difference between these. And the reason I have that is because I want it to splay out a little bit as we get to the outside. You can even do a more exaggerated effect than what I just did. I think, um, I think it'll be even nicer that way. So we'll do the same thing down here. That middle one is going to be the longest. It'll probably hit about where the mouth hits. Okay, I'm not doing a great job here, but I'm trying to hold my cell phone. Um, there we go. Pull that in. Pull that in. Okay, now we're going to connect. These are spider webs, so you can actually go really fast. Now be aware of which direction you're going in. These are going to be frowns down here. Okay, they're not going to be smiles this way. You're going to come this way. Frowny faces on the bottom always. Smiley faces on top and frowny faces on the bottom. We are actually almost done. So you can see this face is super quick. Now we're just going to take our dippy pot or however we like to make dots make a couple white dots 
The reason I do white is because it makes the design pop from far away. All of my designs have some white and some, um, some black. Again, make your dots different sizes. Uh, if you were to have more time, you could highlight each of these, but don't, don't do this for the Barn Bash girls. Um, you could highlight a little bit with white. It does look good. Um, but there you have it. I hope this helps. Happy painting.